friends. So this class is going to be about doing some hip strengthening. And again, it won't be a traditional class. I'm just making a series of slightly shorter classes. Um, and so this one is hip strengthening. So the very first pose you're going to come into is you're going to try to come into 90-90, right? So that means as if you were going into pigeon, if you know that move, you're going to try to sit. Let's have our right shin facing this direction. That way I'm mirroring you. And then that left leg is going to try to come out at a 90 degree. So I've got a 90 degree from heel to ankle, a 90 degree from shin to femur, right? I even actually have a 90 degree between these two legs. And then I'm going to try to line this leg up so that it's 90, 90, 90. So try to come into this shape. And that left hip is not going to probably make it all the way down to the earth. Um, but if, for any reason, you're going to work it towards the earth a couple of times in the segment, segment, but if you're like, holy moly, and it feels like there's cramping or impingement, you're just going to lean a little further away from the leg and try to lengthen through that left sideways. But if you can start to move towards sitting up, and I'll show you the front view, you're going to see if you can start to move towards sitting up and dropping that hip down and in. So the back leg right now is moving towards internal rotation, which is usually the harder for most people's hips. So just take a second and let that hip drop down. And if you're feeling like, ooh, this is a lot right in the beginning, you can always go ahead and just lean out away from it for a little bit and come back into it, right? And lean kind of forward and away from it, lengthening out of that, letting it lift, and coming back in. And after you've done it for a couple of times, again, just seeing if you can't let that hip sink down and in the back hip, the left hip. Okay? And then from there, we're going to start to work this back leg. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to lean out a little bit over this front leg. I like to have this right hand out and securing me. And then as you root down through this left knee, the back knee, you're going to see if you can flex your left foot and even pick your left hip up off the ground. So now we're really taking that into internal rotation. And again, just because we're just getting on the six for the first time, let that soften down to the earth. Let everything soften for a moment. And pushing the shin down lightly for stability. Push this knee down. See if you can lift that heel up. Now, if you can't lift up or as high as me, maybe you're higher than me, right? But meaning it's just more the idea, the action, the initiation. And maybe bring that back down. And maybe do that one more time. Go ahead and lift that back heel up by pushing. If you're having a hard time grounding, you might even take your hand and try to ground that leg down. See if you can't pick that heel up even a little further with that knee grounding down. And then go ahead and release that down. And again, rock that hip back down towards the ground, trying to sit up as straight as you can in your body. Now we're going to work that front leg a little bit. So lean a little forward just so you have some weight in that shin. See if you can push that shin and that knee down, the right shin and knee. And then try to keep that grounded. Push it down, actually. Try to bring yourself up. You might even try it without your hands, right? And again, you're going to lean over. You can use your hands if you need to. You might leave them lifted. And push the shin down to bring that body up. One more time. Lean forward. And then you're going to keep pushing that shin down. Even once you come all the way up, keep trying to put that, that weight down through the knee specifically, but the shin as well. Right? Now we're going to try and lift this foot as well. So you're really going to ground through that right knee. If you need to put your hand on it, to find if you can. And try to pick up your right heel. Now you'll notice mine's not really lifting very much. This side is very hard for me. But I'm doing the action of lifting it. And I feel my outer hip working like the dickens to find that action. And it's really more about that than it is about me lifting my heel. So again, I'm grounding through my right heel, even though you can't see it. And I'm trying to lift that leg up. I don't have musculature to do it yet. Maybe someday, maybe not. But I'm strengthening my outer glutes right now, my outer thigh. So I'll do that much. I'm going to go ahead and release that down. And you're going to go ahead. And we got one more challenge on this front leg. Pushing that shin, that knee down. Right? Find as erect of a spine as you can. Now you're going to go ahead and try not to lean back to make this happen. Try to use the low belly a little bit. You can use your hand to support. Try to lift that leg up, the whole leg. Push the heel out in front of you. Turn the toes up towards the ceiling and put the whole leg back down. Now we're going to try and do it slow and with the breath where we lift the leg up, bend the knee. Try to see if you can get your ankle 
to be the last thing to hit. Ha, 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 right? And one more time, see if you can sit down into that hip. And then we have one more challenge on this leg, and then we're out of here. Well, we still have one more side to go. You're going to go ahead and try not to lean over to the right as much as you can. Try to lift that whole leg up. Oh, you see how much I'm leaning, right? I'm trying not to, though. And go ahead and start to strengthen, lengthen that out, facing towards your left. And then again, you're going to bend that knee, and you're going to try to set down the knee first, and then the heel. Go ahead and let those legs come on out in front of you. And how about a little wiggle jiggle? Oh, hi, hippies. Are you awake? And then we're going to go to the other side. Pardon me, I didn't have my phone on vibrate. Ignore. I just ignore that. <laughs> so again, you're going to start to try to get at that 90-90, right? My front leg is at 90 as if I was going to move into a pigeon. And then I see if that right knee. You'll notice I have a blanket down so that my knees are supported. My knees hurt a little bit if I just do this on my straight mat, right? And then go ahead and try to get 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. There are 90 degrees everywhere right now through your legs and your feet, yeah? That left hand can come down. Remember, if you feel like you're impinging anything, you can lean a little bit away from that to lengthen out of sideways. Otherwise, you're going to try to sink that hip down. And in this beginning part, you might just kind of come in and out a couple of times, just starting to introduce that hip into internal rotation. So I don't know about all y'all. I mean, I think it's beautiful to strengthen the hips anytime. But especially right now, getting into those hips and trying to find a little freedom, but a little bit of strength for all of this sitting and immobility that we're doing, right? So go ahead and see if you can let the hips slide down and in, whatever that means to you, your body a little bit more erect. Then we're going to start to work with that back leg. So again, you're going to grab through that right knee as much as you can. If it helps you to put your hand on the knee to help it, you're welcome to do that. And you're going to see if you can't start to pick that heel up. And try not to let the body lean to make it happen. Try to keep the body upright. My body really wants to lean. Again, this is my difficult side. This side's a lot harder to get these actions to happen. And you'll notice my heel is barely off the floor, but holy crap, I'm feeling it, right? You might not even get off the floor, you might just try to lift it, and that might be all you need to do to start to strengthen that back, outer hip, gluteal area, right? Really moving that heel down. If it helps you to move a couple of times on the breath, moving it down and trying to lift it up a couple of times, you're welcome to that. Don't think about trying to engage from here. Think about drilling the knee down before you lift the heel, and that's naturally going to cause that action to happen. The next time you're up, you're going to go ahead and you're going to stay up, and you're going to try to hold it up, and bring the heel down, try to sink that hip down, and maybe come a little more erect than you did before, maybe not. Working with the front leg now. So, again, lean forward a little bit. That way you start to feel the weight to move into that left knee now. Now push the left knee down and you're going to use that leverage to try to pull your body back up. You're welcome to use hands. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you don't use your hands at all. Keep a long spine. Push down into the leg to lift the body up. And really pushing through that knee, right? It's easy to get this side down. Try to work that knee down, 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 down. And then once you come up, you're going to try to lift the whole leg up without shifting the body too much. I shift back a little bit, but I'm trying not to, right? Trying not to let that go too far. Reach that heel out, turn the toes up, and set that leg down. Pull the low belly up, get your support system. You know we're going back the other way, right? Try to lift that leg up, ooh, barely. Go ahead and bend that knee. Try to let your knee come down before your ankle. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> And then we're going to work that back leg in a similar fashion. <clears throat> Pardon me. So again, try not to lean to the left. Try to keep your body up as much as you can. Try to lift that left leg up. I'm going to do some leaning because that's the only way I can get this leg up. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and let that leg come up. I did this once today too, so my leg body's like, what are you doing? Go ahead and let that come on down. And then we're going to lift that leg back up. We're going to bend that knee. We're going to bring it back to 90. Let the knee move down. Try to lift that 
What's it called? Heel up, 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 up. Set that down. Try to bring the body up to erect again. Sinking into that hip. And let those legs come on out in front of you. And maybe a little wiggle and jiggle. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and come to seated or kneeling just for a few moments. I personally prefer kneeling. I find it a little easier on my sacrum, my low back, even my hips, quite honestly. But whatever you need to do, try to find that erect spine. It might be on a chair or the couch, right? Sit up nice and tall, close the eyes. Tuning in specifically to your hippies. Saying hello. Seeing if they feel any different than when you started this sequence. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a big old inhale. Go ahead and bow your head into your heart. And take in a moment of gratitude. Find at least one thing to be grateful for. There's a beautiful saying, and it is, the more you're grateful for everything you have, the more you have to be grateful for. 